Hi everyone, this is Paris De Bono of the Fortune Teller Shop in Sydney. How are you? I am going to do a card review today and a card reading on how to read these cards. These are called the Maltese Finder Man. Okay, and I'm going to basically show you how they work. So, if we just have a brief run run through the cards. So we have um, this is a twelve card deck and it's read in a specific way. So we have the open flower. Hi guys, sorry, I'm just gonna say hi. They're saying hi Paris, hi Rita. Hi. And they like this card design. And th we have the rooster. Hi Emily. The cocky rooster. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We have the daisies. The crown. The apple. The spring bunnies. The old donkey, two roses. This is the king, this is the queen, and this is the prince, and this is the young king. Okay, so just a brief run through the young king represents a younger man, the prince represents someone who's a flirt, maybe around for a short time. But he's on a horse, so it means that he's out He's out the door quickly. The queen, usually, if it's a female client that you're reading for, the queen represents the female client. And the old king usually means a man who's established or a little bit older. Usually it's a man with money. Okay. The two roses represents relationship, pairing up. Hi, Indigo. The old donkey represents something outmoded or not not you not happening anymore the spring bunnies means they need to get out there and have fun hi spiritual gangster gangster the apple represents seduction now the apple in this deck also can mean another woman okay so it's another woman or seduction the crown represents thinking with your head and also being logical and also to do with Korean work the daisies represents um, networking many flowers to choose and the rooster can mean male sexuality, cocky rooster. And the open flower is female sexuality. Okay, so it's very, very clear. This, this deck is very clear and very um, easy to read. Do you like my new jacket? Yeah, it's very handsome. What do you reckon, guys? Does he look good? I've got the Ray-Bans. Thanks, Ray-Bans, for all your support. <laughs> Looking dapper, nice, yes. Thank you for this, I needed it. You're welcome. Well, Ray-Bans is our, our official sponsor. I mean, most of you know that Ray-Bans sponsor me and have made me a very rich man. Not, but, you know. And all of my groups are sponsored by Ray-Bans. Spammed we by Ray-Bans. We were <laughs> sponsored by Ugg Boots for a while too, but Ugg Boots have seemed to be, be gone quiet now. So yeah. now we're left with our loyal sub, uh, loyal ray -Bans sponsor. Ray-Bans spammers. Yeah. <laughs> Our loyal loyal sponsor across the board is Ray Bans. So ode to Ray Bans. Okay, so what you do is you shuffle the cards and I have a female client. Uh definitely do that, Indigo. That's a great idea. We all get a pair of sunnies, yeah. Yeah, well when we when we start touring, you'll get a deck of cards and a, <laughs> and, a and a pair of sunglasses in the package. So what you do is you shuffle the cards. I was getting spammed by Ray Bans and I knew I made it. That was Emily. That's right. I was actually sharing with that um, when I was saying with some of the guys on our previous scope, Paris, was yes. once Paris gets his first troll, we know we made it. <laughs> we're right. getting trolled. The trolled. moment, guys, it'll be the moment where we're like, yes, we're getting trolled. Well, whenever I open a new group on Facebook, a new fortune telling group, as soon as I get a uh, Ray Bans spammer, then I know that the group's going to be successful. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's a s celebration. If I have a group that doesn't have spamming, then I know it's a flat group. Okay. So, there you go, Emily. You made it. Yeah. So, what I'm doing is I'm shuffling the cards and I have a female client who's asked me a question offline and she wants to know if she's having any love, love life in the next two months. So, the woman card is going to be her. And the three male cards are going to be potential lovers. Okay, so what you do is you shuffle the cards and then you lay them out. Now I'm going to put lay them out towards you because you're the viewer. Normally I have them, if I'm reading for a client, I'll lay them towards myself because I, I'm the viewer. 
Okay, so the first card, the, the top row is kind of like the past, present, and then the future. Okay, top row is the past. So what it shows about our female client is she may be thinking with her head, and also it shows that she may be focusing on work and career. Okay, and then we have the rooster. So the rooster represents being proud, being cocky. Usually it means being assertive. I mean, if you think of a rooster, they're beautiful and they're assertive in the farmyard. They show off their feathers. And then we have the bunnies. So it looks like she's been focusing on her work. She's been out there being assertive and she's been having fun. Um, now, the, the rooster can also be, mean male attention around her. So there may be a lot of male attention, especially with the bunnies. We keep going. And then we have the, the daisies. Again, lots of networking, lots of socializing here with the daisies. Daisies is like a bee can go to many of those daisies if it could choose. Very good, Leah. She's saying think with your rooster. <laughs> think with your rooster, yeah. It could also be know, know that men are going to be looking out for attention, but it's not love attention. It's more sexual attention. So she's being logical about the men around her that she's socializing with and chatting to. Okay. Now there's a male there, a young king, and he is actually interested in a relationship because he's bringing forward the two roses. The two roses card means I want to pair up with you. Okay. And there's an, another young, there's a prince. So he also may be interested in pairing up with her, but she's not in the reading yet. And then the open flower is indicating a feeling of being open and just sort of available to many, but it's not showing her yet. Now there she is there. Now what it shows is she's connected to the young king, but she's looking away from him. So this is indicating that although she likes him, <clears throat> she may be even thinking about him because he's on top of her head. She's not really giving anything of a serious nature to him yet, even though he is thinking about relationship with her. Okay, now there's another older king that she's looking away from. Now this reading is quite fascinating because I know the person that's actually asked me the question and it's very true. She has an older ex-boyfriend who that she's broken off with. She had a younger lover, a, a, a young lover who was about her age, but she also needed a break because she was still getting over the ex. And the young lover actually did want a relationship with her. So this is quite fascinating. And I did... Um, did, did a similar reading for her yesterday. So this is what he, now this is what the old king wants. Now he's got the old donkey with him, which means he's outworn, he's outmoded, he's no longer a, attractive to her. And the last card is the outcome, the apple. Apple shows that there's lots of temptations, perhaps other parties, and it also shows there may be other rival women as well. So. Um, yeah, and I think that is true for the young king because he is also dating other women and he told her that. But she can't do anything about it because she's locked in the corner here and she's looking out. So the apple at the end is the apple of temptation. So I would say with her, her love life is still very much open and there's a lot of temptations, possibly some competition. But it definitely shows the two male people, that two guys that she's been involved with. One's outmoded, one wants a relationship. Mm, Emily yeah. said most people don't have one option. She has several. She has several, yeah. yeah. And, and she's not ready to decide because she's looking outside. See, if she was looking here, I'd say she wants to pair up with him. Or if she was down here, I'd say she wants to pair up with him. But she's actually got one of them on her head, one of them behind her. But she's not pairing up with either. She may be thinking of pairing up but it's in the back of her mind, it's behind her slightly. And I think the first card tells her just to be logical, not emotional. Okay, mm -hmm. so that gives you a, a rundown of how to read the Maltese Finder Man cards by Paris de Bono. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Paris. She's, I'm going to sample first. Yes, that's right, Emily. Yeah, she's she going to sample a lot, yeah. Okay, well, that was just a quick Periscope today. I'll tune in with you later on. I've got some classes to do today. Sunday is one of my class days, so I'll speak to you all later on. Hold on, can you have Sheila's hang up for a minute? Um, we'll check the replay, Leah. He kind of answered that question, so if you check the replay, that would answer the question, okay? Yep. 
Um, Emily said, love you, Paris. Love you too. Love All you. All right. Thanks. Aww, thanks, guys. See Bye. ya. Bye.